Hello guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I use the potato sack wrap and achieve a gallery of about 10 photos without disturbing the baby. Let's have a look. Here's this mat from Graceland Designs. It's made of rubber, I believe. It's like a giant piece of um, mouse pad. Absolutely loving it. Totally winko free. This is my backdrop and I've got a heart bowl to go with this backdrop. Tomorrow I will be doing some neutral setups. Um, I'm going to add some ornaments into my setup. These artificial leaves are pretty, aren't they? They are so pretty. I think the color goes well together. Sometimes I don't know until I put them together. I'm just a visual person, that's okay. Looks good. Obviously, we need some padding underneath. Mm -hmm. Matchy matchy rabbit fur. I like it. Or is this one? It's another piece of rabbit fur, but it has a white and a beige. Two tones. I'll take both. Looks nice. What about this? What do you guys think? It's almost feel like I'm trying different outfits. And I was deciding in the change room, I want to get both. Which one is prettier? I think these two tones are prettier. The layer, uh, nah. Okay, now the setup is semi-complete. The next thing to do is um, to think about what I need to wrap the baby. Since we have some green leaves around the bow, I want to have the baby to match our green leaf. Um, that's a good color, that green or some other greens or maybe this green. What do you guys think? This one or this one? I think they both look okay, but this one just has a little bit blue. I'm just being super picky here. Since I have options, we may just use this green. Now, accessories. Of course, I'm not gonna use these headbands, although I would love to. We are going to get this bonnet. Any others? When I style, I always wish I had a million other different options. You know, we never have enough props. That's a cute bonnet I've never used before. This greenish moss colored bonnet doesn't work well with this piece of fabric. These colors don't match. So I'll give up on that. This green works well. The pattern has this cream color in there and it also goes well with our rabbit fur at the back. So it's a good option. All right. This is my potato sack base. Let's see my patty underneath is a small bean bag a beanbag frame and a donut poser. You could use a nursing pillow as well and a large bean here. We cover it up with my floccati. Dig a hole. The potato sack base is complete now. I am going to use this cute bonnet. It's a rat bonnet because my client tomorrow is Chinese and we are in the year of rat. I believe I have a rat lovey here. Ooh, am I cute? <laughs> of course you are. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm using a small stretchy piece of fabric. Tie the baby up in the middle just to secure his hands and legs. And then use a second piece of fabric it's also a stretchy wrap. Let's wrap around. Just around the arm. Right now his legs are hanging out. Just use the fabric to keep the legs in place. Now I need some an old piece of felt to pad around the baby's body. Just gives a nice round shape. I'm using a third piece of fabric just to cover the felt underneath. I can tuck 
the legs in depending on your style if you want to see the baby's toes you can bring the legs out or you don't have to if you don't want now I need to bring the fingers out there we go just underneath the chin just want to see three or four fingertips Hit the last layer I'm going to tie it up and make a knot okay another one down the bottom okay done now I need to put his bonnet on first and then later on if I want to pray a variety just remove the bonnet That's underneath my potato sack base. I had a donut ring and a big medium peel above there. And I'm covering it up with my flocati. Make a hole. I've turned off my aircon because it's getting really warm. And the baby's wrapped up in multiple layers. Just don't want to overheat him. He's smiling. It's my light. He's smiling. He's dreaming. Little mousy, oh, happy mousy. I usually rub the baby's forehead this way, so he's gradually closing his eyes. My fingers is really sleepy. Okay, now since he's his eyes are closed. I'm just gonna quickly take some shots. I'm taking an establishing shot from far away and another few shots from the middle and another close up. I'm going to get him to cuddle the little mouse. I'm gonna scoop him up just a little bit so that he's not lying down. He's kind of keeping an upright position. I'm gonna just stuff a small beam behind his head. Before I get him to cuddle the mouse, I'm just going to put the mouse by his side just because sometimes baby don't like me mucking around their fingers. Come a bit closer, another close up and another one from above. Now let's cuddle okay. your little mouse friend. Sorry, Baba. Okay. He doesn't like me moving his fingers. There we go. Good boy. Well done. Make sure his face is not being squashed. And all the face features are visible. I'm just gradually perfecting the baby's pose. Okay, that's done. I'm going to quickly take his bonnet off. Remove that bonnet. I'm going to remove that um, outer layer. Now rather than bring the baby up and redo the full wrap, I'm just going to take another colour. It's another piece of cheesecloth fabric. I don't know if this is going to work. What I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to tuck the fabric underneath to achieve a fake wrap. I learned this technique from a fellow photographer friend of mine and I found it's wonderful because um, you simply just don't have to lift up the baby and redo your wrap all over again. Okay, now put a small pillow behind his neck. Just gonna take that little pin out. Flat fingers. See how I'm posing the same way as I did before, but gives the gallery a different look. 
such a convenient technique I learned from my friend called Zanel Walter from Hello Baby Photography. I'll put a link below. You can check out her work. Okay, once I've done all that, I'm going to change the external wraps. Just leave the internal wrap inside and I'm going to wrap him up with another piece of green fabric and put down into the prop that I prepared yesterday. I'm thinking having the feet poking out would look cute. So I'm just going to bring the toes out. I still need that piece of felt. Just tuck it in on his chest. Now I'm going to cover it up with this green cheese course fabric. Just making sure I'm covering up all the white fabric underneath. It doesn't matter how you wrap it up as long as it's nice and neat. I need the fingers being flattened. Still three fingertips, three to four fingertips. Done. Okay, let's go. Put his bonnet on. It's a very cute hat. Matchy matchy. It's all natural light now. Fabric underneath, inside of these internal layers. I'm not too worried about that. Just put underneath the baby's head, hide wherever you can't see. Now let's put him down. I feel that his head needs a little bit lift. I'll just get a small sized bean, maybe a bigger one. A medium bean. Strap on me all the time. I'm on manual mode, ISO 320 F2, 200 per second shutter speed. Okay, I'll come to the side and shoot a profile shot with the backlit lighting. Okay, voila! With this fabric and the knit fabric on top, I had a totally different texture. Then using the fake wrap technique, I created something completely different. Then changing the outer layer when the baby's still asleep, puts the baby down into another setup. Then we had a third styling. And I even used one of the potato sack photo and swapped the background and achieved this image. Yeah, so photography is always about creativity. So use what I don't normally use, the ones that I use in every single session, created something completely different and unique. That is everything about photography. Okay, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumb up and consider subscribing. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.